Welcome to the divinity. So Divine was a member of John Waters' acting troupe, the Dreamlanders. With multiple maniacs in 1970, they gained recognition. Pink Flamingos in 1972 became a cult classic, and it was a hit on the U.S. midnight movie circuit. Around this time, Waters encouraged Divine to expose his gut, and he wanted him to become the Godzilla of drag queens. Now, this was in direct opposition of most drag queens who wanted to become Miss America. Turn around, stand up like a man and look me in the eye. Turn around. With female trouble in 1974, Divine also started showing up in theaters and plays. And then came Polyester, 1981 and Hairspray. With Polyester, he reached mainstream fame. However, in 1981, he also embarked on a career in high-energy disco with Bobby Orlando at O Records. However, Divine felt he wasn't getting his fair share of royalties, so he sued Bobby O, and he won. He then joined In Tune Music Limited, and this is where the hits started happening. Unfortunately, it wasn't long after this that Divine died. He was scheduled to be to perform as a male role on Married with Children. And this is something Divine struggled with his whole career. He didn't want to be typecast. Um, a drag queen, and any time he had the opportunity to play male roles, as well as females, he jumped at it. In fact, in some movies you'll see that he's played both male and female roles. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this overview of Divine and his music and his career and a celebration of his divinity. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content.